hello guys welcome back to the vlog i actually just uploaded the last vlog and i'm already starting the next vlog very proud but i just drove 40 minutes to north austin to get to h mart again i was here a few days ago with one of my friends but i didn't really get to get everything i needed and i'm actually having korean barbecue with one of my friends and her boyfriend tonight so i just really needed to stock up so we're about to go and have a little h mart run but yeah let's go I always have to go back because I'm never sure if I locked the door. Okay, it's locked. We're here at H Mart. Do we want extra firm? No, I think I just want regular firm. This is also my favorite soup kit to get. I always want to get one of these. They're so good. Always making me question if I want to get these. All the K dramas that I watch. regular matcha whisk if anyone ever needs a matcha whisk it is $15.99 at H Mart so I got these when I first found out about H Mart a few years ago and I got like the smallest one so it barely fits all my stuff so I'm debating getting a bigger one I wonder if this is big enough hmm Okay, so I got a bamboo steamer for my birthday. Well, I got two for my birthday. And I'm not gonna lie, they're kind of hard to upkeep. I don't know if it's me that don't know how to, you know, take care of it, but they break really easily because of the bamboo. So I'm wondering it's because maybe I soaked it too long and it was bad and it's not supposed to be soaked in water, but just a tip, try to keep your bamboo steamers dry so they don't break like me okay guys so i've been wanting one of these for a minute i kind of like this one because you can make your meat here but you can also put your sides here but now that i'm thinking about it how would this even i guess you could put it <gasps> that's kind of smart you can just put the stuff that's just heating up on this side and it just chills and it doesn't overcook but i don't know if i want this one i've really always been curious about this shishimi here it looks really good quality but i don't know I'm scared. Let me know if you guys have tried it and if it's good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> guys, how freaking sweet was that old man? He really brought it all the way to my cart, double bagged it. I was trying to grab it and he like, no. He was like, no, I'm walking all the way around to give you this. So sweet. I got the right pork last time. It didn't taste as porky as I would like. Guys, it's the next morning. I. We. We are about to go. Hi. Who's driving? Me. Uh, I took an Uber today, guys, to go get dim sum. <laughs> you sit in the front seat of the Uber? Yeah. You don't do that? That's weird, though. I don't know if that's weird, but... That's weird as shit. Sitting in the front seat of the Uber? I think people do that. No. We are actually on the way to a brunch. End of year party with a bunch of my co-workers. And they let me bring a plus one, so obviously... <laughs> I guess we'll see how this goes. We're going to this new dim sum spot. We've been to Lynn's in Austin and also at Q's, Key. I don't know if it's Key or Q, but either way. So we went to those two places already, but we have not been to their third sister company, Blue Chow's. So I'm excited to try this one out. I guess we'll take you guys with us because <laughs> I haven't done a food vlog in a minute. So I'm excited. We're here. I finally set up the hot pot. Say hi. Hello. We're having hot pot for dinner. Marissa's actually never had hot pot before. She, I'm sure she's excited. Very. 
<laughs> we have fish ball shrimp. This is frozen brief brisket. This is the pork belly. And we also have some beef chuck slices. And then I guess I'm giving you kind of a tour too since yeah. I'm not explaining everything. We have our two broths. These are my two main broths I always get for people to try. And I love that I have the dual hot pot because at least you can try the tomato one separately. This one's a hot and spicy one. And since I, thought, I like to just mix them. And then we have our amazing ramen noodle, Mama. It's my favorite. It's spicy and it's like seafoody, but it's still really good. You should try it. Have you tried these? No. Okay, I'll give you a few packs to try. I guess you're trying it now. Yeah. Okay. And then we have, I I boiled these, I hard boiled these, and I also peeled each freaking quail egg. There's 30 of them in there. Well, actually, there might only be 29 because I ate one. <laughs> and then we got chicken soup broth to put into the hot pot. And also, I also got some fish cakes and meatballs. Also, I don't know how this is going to be, but I did bring this spicy samjang for dipping and also some sesame oil, soy sauce, and this Thai chili oil that my dad gave me when I visited him a few months ago. Low key, it's kind of crazy <laughs> how spicy it is. Are you ready for your asshole to be burnt from yes. this chili? Yes, the fuck I am. <laughs> okay, let's get this started. <laughs> fuck, these jeans are so tight. Are <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Nice. For the ambiance. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Look at that. The customers are winning. This too, you can get the mama ramen. Like. That it says Cynthia Wynn. I don't, I'm just so dead. Where did Cynthia even come from? I got some pho. I woke up and I was instantly craving it. So I'm gonna make this now uh, with a rice on the side. And then I also did not get a Thai tea, but now I have a Thai tea. And I also have these egg rolls that I did not order. Now I'm thinking about it, if it's a big deal enough to even... Oh, they only gave me meatballs. Steak and brisket. And I don't even know if I should be upset or happy. I don't have any lipstick on. Determined to do this vlog, so if I don't do it now, I won't do it. So happy. Ah! Let's try vlog. You scared me. Okay, Pat scared the fuck out of me, but yeah, we're on the way. Let's go.
right, so I'm on 11th Street. I am at Poeta. It is a restaurant slash hotel in downtown Austin. And I'm excited, I haven't been here before. I've been to two, three other restaurants around here. So it's kind of cool to like be able to like check off spots to visit in downtown. But I wanted to take you guys with me because I haven't vlogged in a few days. And I figured the food will be pretty bomb. I think it is Italian food. So I'm pretty excited. I love Italian food, I think. We well, have an Olive Garden and stuff like that, so I'm not really sure. Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and go inside because I think the lunch is part.